very good evening to you welcome to obina show live part two we still have part three coming right up now this one is a continuation of part one but part one was to billy why he lived the fake life now this is part two tooth watchdog with an expose of celebrities living fake lives and all the happenings that are going on on social media so that mwati kukua na yo pressure mingi mukonayo then after this we have vini flavor sana kuja kumarinate wana kusha pigia na pigia na waka menyana ana kuja kumarinate kuja kutuliza ni aje truth? mene kwa fiti na shukuru god kila siku mwaminifu unajua wase wanapena kungaji ya god wana kwangwa si fake sana by the way hey manze mene real bro you see anybody speak about god 20 times in one sentence Be wary. Oh maze ni aje ni completely maze ni god maze ni keep maze. Oh uko sa eh na ndivita unajua god maze unajua na tumeenda god. Mama mkaje unajua ni mkapita unajua saja maze god. Nini mnakuanga wase wa nini sana risky? Zi mimi ni msiril. Na thank god yani na mtanga me ni make nika kwa hiyo real. Umeelewa? Eh. Good watch dog. Yes. No okay. Watu wanasema kwani imekuwa scam pia hii live. Imejukua now for a break. Yeah, bado tulikuwa natuliza moto kati yake na tumbili. Tumeshaituliza search for back to ko live. Yep. Karibu sana Obina show live. Mimi nashukuru bro. Eh eh. Yeah. Kilipanya nani kula kula sio? Yeah, tulikuwa kula kula. Lakini food nikapimiwa sijui leo kai itacheza. Kila kula. Pia ina food. Ai. Eh. Ini kunywa kunywa. Ini kunywa kunywa tu. Oi. Unataka kunywa nini? Acha tukume tu maji kwanza. Tumetu maji kwanza alafu tu tuone kunaendaje. Eh. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Mambo ni kama hayo. Mbona unapenda kulialia kwa inbox ya Pluto? Uh, actually that is so so ilini hit tu venye meko hit. I was so surprised like uh, who did this? Kwanza who did this? Ushajipata kwa ushajipata mekatwa kichwa kekewa mse mwenye uh. This was a uh, obina walking in the night running. Umelewa? So it was it was so funny that uh, somebody was trying to deviate my attention mm -hmm. from uh from, from from the public on what I'm doing trying to expose these scams that are actually ongoing okay so they were trying to deviate that attention to something else that is very funny uh I have given this story over and over and I'll do it again over here uh about me crying that was not crying Obina I was actually poisoned that was on uh, on 10th June and on 10th June it was uh, it was an expose about these uh, online the so called uh, uh, traveling agencies so these traveling agencies have been taking advantage of actually Kenyans at large oh we will take you to Canada we will take you to Saudi and when i realized that these are scams so i started actually fighting back by telling people wait this is how you check this is a real uh, agency okay. this is a fake one okay. when i was doing this actually it it worked because right now even you check on tiktok it is not as much as they used to come oh we have the passports ready you are going to canada blah 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 it all went down but they didn't go down just like you know we are relaxed we are okay you are exposing us they set me up actually they gave me a case whereby there is a a lady they said she was you know Uh, struck by a stroke as a result she's paralyzed so i would come and cover this but since this was at the very moment i'm exposing these agencies i saw this is the perfect video agencies plus now the actually the repercussions the results of what happens when you steal money from actually kenyans who have probably borrowed that money to hopefully fly out make some money repay the loan and make their life better So when I was going to cover that video unfortunately the lady who was paralyzed now she was real she was there but she was not talking so the person who again had invited me to cover the case was the only person talking on behalf of this lady after the the entire coverage which took around one hour now it's about time to go so she insists we should eat usually I'm a very very person reserved when it comes to eating in someone's home i think you were raised those days when your father looks at you so you ate mm. explain i have been raised that way so eating just anyhow you go to someone no i really have to we need to be that intact i know you you know me i will eat but this you knew you just going to eat anywhere i thought it's not the right thing 
But now she came with an idea. Okay, just soda only, please. You've done us good. We've tried to call citizen. They have refused. You're the only person. We called this and that. They refused. As, okay, soda, no bad. So I took just a zip, like, you know, not something big. And I didn't feel any difference anyway. During the editing of this video, again, we had some issues. Oh, the audio is not good. It was low. Somebody needs to do this. We need to go to our computer. So we never edited it on time because you are supposed to head to Kayole, do another video. So while I was at home around uh, eight, something like eight, that is when I started feeling like, hey, I'm so cold. I don't know what is happening to me. Again, I'm so hot. All of a sudden, I started seeing with my own eyes, like literally in real time, I'm, I'm, I'm swelling. My face is swelling, like literally. Even if I show you my hand, I wish the cameras could see. I have patches that actually you could see, uh, you could think that this is uh, a human cheetah. Yeah, so they are patches. Those, those, those swellings, when they went down, they still left me with some funny, funny patches. So this video that I did, I called on all YouTubers. But it happens that we used to have, a, we still, not we used to, we have those small, small group. You have like a small group of viewers. I have my small group of viewers, which happens to carry Pluto in it. So when I shared the video, I just thought it is the best or the fastest to share, to talk and tell everyone easily on YouTube, uh, on, what do you call it, WhatsApp, share the video. Hey guys, I've been uh, infected and I think I am poisoned. I don't know what is happening to me. I've gone to take, I've taken some medicines, but please tell everybody that those people who are coming to you asking for that kind of help, it might not be real. They might just be targeting you. So when I sent that video, uh, it was some time back. Then uh, guys come and, you know, the media, the online media as usual, they come, oh, we want an interview. Pluto is saying that he has bought a house. What do you think of it? Is it real? Is it fake? And I was like, uh, if somebody has said he bought a house and has shown you the house, to prove that, how would you prove the house is yours? Or how will you prove otherwise that this place is not mine? Is by producing the rightful documents, which we call uh, Buddha Changamuka Buana. This is your show, which we call title deed. You know, me, I'm just wondering, okay. this whole time I'm looking at you, I'm just wondering this simple thing. Why is it your business to meddle into other people's business? Like, why do you put it upon yourself? Like, okay, I say I bought a house. Why is it your business to make me show you that the house is mine? How will that make your life better? Mm -hmm. or not make your life better? Mm -hmm. Why is it your business? It's not my business. Who asked me? I don't know. Me, I even saw you juicy. You went to Kapuri. You went did the house. It's not Kapuri. his house. Kapuri posted this house. Okay, it's not his house. But how is it your business? This is my business. Now, let me put it clear. Because now you are not getting it. You have to get the image. We have not finished the first part. You are jumping into the second. Let us finish the first part. Okay. So, I sent this video to one other YouTubers. Please, you might be poisoned as me. I don't know whether I'm going to die or not. Is it happening or, or not? We have Alpha Monamtule done the same. But how do you know that's what has happened to him? Okay, that is what at least he's saying. I don't want to say any other thing because it is from his mouth. I was poisoned. Okay. I don't want to say other things. Okay. So that is the information we have. And this is the information I'm giving you. If you have any other that is better version than this, then that is your information. Work on that. So... <laughs> I see this video has been dropped by someone called commentator Truth Watchdog Quisha. And I'll explain why the Quisha exposed by the Pluto. Yeah? Hey, simping. Bro, if I simp in your inbox, how Quisha is me? If you expose me, hey, Truth was asking for a show. And then I said, no. How Quisha is me? How, am I Quisha? Guy, let, let, let us be clear here. I'm the one trending. Bro, relax. What your host says, trending comes to everyone. Do the best thing. Kenyans will appreciate you. Don't try to apply to smear mud on a picture that everyone wants to see. Relax in your corner. Time yako kifika, kwa chini, utakuwa ju. This is what these guys are trying to do. By changing the, 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 the narrative. How is it my business that Kafuri... The, the so-called assumed Kafuri's house is not my business. Bro, this house is on sale. The owner is selling this house and is not finding customers. Why? Because somebody else with influence on media has said, this is my house. And I stay here and I've chosen to leave this house because it's like a small mansion. I'm going to a bigger one. 
And now the owner is struggling and then sees me on TikTok actually like uh, exposing these small, small scams. And then I say like, uh, Kapuri says this is his car. Okay, he has bought a new car. Congratulations, bro. Wow, you're doing good. And then bloggers as usual, Nairobi gossip there, wow. At the age of 24 years, buys a Mercedes Benz. At the age of 25 years, buys a, 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 an Audi. And then there is the number plate. Guys, not everybody in town is stupid. Hold on. Okay, bring me the number plate. <laughs> Cushy Motors. You are still not answering the okay. question. I'm heading there. Why is it your business? I'm heading there. Relax. Hold your horses. And if they are donkeys, ask them to kick. Okay? So I, I, I check these ones. I'm like, uh, this number plates, for sure. This vehicle, you know, for example, I know you have a vehicle. I have seen your vehicle. I don't know whether you are servicing the loan. If I checked on NTSA, I would have said, this one, he owns it, but... Goja, nitangalia ka number plate. Like in Buddha, no, 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 no. Okay, anyway, I'm joking. Yeah. So you check and then you find out, like, these guys so much beating around. Why are they advertising lies? This is now my business. Why are you advertising lies? In the name of Forex is really paying me. I'm a full-time trader. If you want to trade, come to me. I will teach you how to make these huge amounts of money and probably own homes, own vehicles. That is what they are selling. Well, in real sense, Obina, I, I know, and I want to ask you, be honest. In your school, there are teachers who taught you, you're doing better than them. Why are you smiling? Because you know it's the truth, right? Most of the time when teachers are, uh, when teachers teach us, they even bless us, hoping that we will live a better life. And we outdo them. And that is a blessing. But these Forex teachers, Produce any single teacher. You say you've been in the game for seven years or ten years and you have no single student that is successful like you. It is only you who is flaunting vehicles, flaunting homes. And now you're giving, you keep on doing that to get new students. What of the students who are there, who paid before, hoping to have a better life because that is what you are showing them and exactly selling. That is where now my business comes in. To, to, to lower the pressure amongst the youth in Kenya. Relax, bro. Someone shows you has a vehicle, how sure are you it is his? Stop these pressures. I want to know trade. You go, but they, they are using their help. Mutu Muzaziwako cannot afford money to take you to school. So you are in need of that, uh, the help money is coming. And you say like, if I do two dreads with, for example, Kafuri, I, I will even pay my own school fees. I will not need to bother my parents anymore. You send your 15,000 or 20,000, gone. 30, gone. Hey, you need to, to take a refer. Why? Because you do not have the school fees and you are hoping this Forex thing would help you. So that is where I come in and tell you, relax. He showed you as a vehicle. Show me the vehicle. This one. Okay, good. Come, sit here. This is how we use NTSA portal, for example. You have his ID number. Let me show you how we check if anyone owns anything in Kenya, this is the ID number, good, sit here, I show you. ID number owns nothing. So from your ID number, you own nothing. How do you own vehicles? From your, from your number plates. The number plates clearly shows that actually these vehicles are owned by motors. Let me explain something to you. Okay. There is some people. Who? Let me not use myself in this example. Mm -hmm. Who own some properties, mm -hmm. but they don't put them in their name. Mm -hmm. For one, two, three, four, five reasons. Do you? I'm saying I'm not talking about myself. You said some. We all know that you don't put all your. Do your homework. Let me not talk much about it. Listen, bro. Homework. Let me tell you one thing too that you don't know today. For example, let's take care of it. da 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 da. Then they come. Every property that is in my name is going to go right. Mm -hmm. Property that is in people what don't spend is not going to go right. Okay. Why? Because it's not in my name. But my question, why is property that? Property that's unlimited. Then why are the landlords there? Going to go right? No, I'm just saying. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you a picture. I'm not talking about the guys for the products and everything. Watch out to my chapter to book for. Stop to pack my photo. I'm <laughs> 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 I was the order.
Tukiongea na sauti. Hapo. Yes, they will not. Yes. Those are forex scammers sending the range. Maybe it's because of the rains. To take a ceiling on Goji. No, we have another room that is a uh, soundproof, but now moving there now, it's also another process. But now the problem is, we, today we've been sitting here the whole day, so we've been on this side. So when we started going for the live, it was, it's a big team. So moving all these lights and camera and everything, it will take about another hour to set it up. So we decided, let's roll. Anyway, we may reduce 20 and I. Yeah, so the, the idea of you saying that uh, I could actually register my properties. Yes, people register their properties in other people's. But you cannot. And companies and studios and everything. But you cannot register. Your house in your landlords. You can, bro. You can, bro. There's then why is the existence of landlords? Let me tell you something. There's a lot of things you don't know that you don't know. Which ones? You don't know. What? You don't know. Bro, we learn. We learn through the but process. There's a lot of things you don't know that you don't know. You just get in there and you don't know. You know not in a company plan. Ah, see what they are in a company. Bro, if there is registration, listen. This is how you know. Some of us do own these things, but we don't brag on media. <laughs> <laughs> if, for example, I go and buy a phone on a, on a higher purchase, I might not own the receipt or the phone itself, but the receipt will indicate, actually, I am servicing the loan. When you are going for a logbook and then you say, let me use the bank, you and the bank halfway on that vehicle until you service the entire loan. That is where now the transfer is done to you. But this case is not that way. This is where the vehicle is fully owned by a company. You go there, you say, hey, Niaji, and attack a gari for five days. And then you come here be uh, beating the chest, oh, I am the owner of this vehicle. That is not what we are talking about. Now, we have a landlords complaining. You are not paying your rent in due, uh, due time. In fact, you are paying mdogo mdogo, nikama lipa mdogo mdogo, in small installments before muezi ishe. And then you are busy claiming this house is yours on media. So when I go there to do my thorough investigation, by the way, I wish guys could go and watch the video on Truth Watchdog Official, how I did it. We just went to Kafuri's videos. And then there was this image where he's swimming and telling people over the roof some kind of swimming pool. I said, just stop. Let me show you how it's done. So we took a screenshot, do back research of images. We found where the image is. It was on Gigi. It is not me going to ask landlord, is it yours? No, it is on Gigi. The number of the landlord is there. So I ask, excuse me, sir, is this house on sale? Yes. And who am I talking to? I'm talking to some guy called Job. Oh, your job? Okay. I really am interested in this house. How much is it? 8.5. 8.5 million? Yes. I'm interested, but could we discuss? He says, come over. I go there. I find the owner. I am like, uh, okay, I have a small problem. You claim this house is yours, but I know someone who says this house is his. So how do I prove that you are the original owner of this house? Or is it like you, you bought it from, from this one? He says, no. 
and who is this that you're talking about him being the owner of this house? I said, this one, Kapuri. He says, no, this is a tenant. He was a tenant here, and he left. It is so unfortunate we are learning that he's saying the house is his. That's why we are finding it difficult to sell. Because I'm renting it out, you know, but I'm selling it. So as I wait for someone to buy, I am selling it out. So this is where now it gets worse. Bro, you wouldn't want me to mess with your show. Say, ah, uh, out there. I just go out there and tell people, ah, oh, Obina, I'm the one who pays him. You know, I can decide to fire him tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that guy is very poor, pathetic. Yeah, it depends on me. If I say tomorrow there is not uh, Obina show, I am done. And then you come and realize that is exactly what is happening. Your show is not selling because you have a very rude manager or very rude assumer of the ownership of this show. Bro, that is not right. That is wrong. So that is where now we draw the line. Somebody needs to come and tell this young man, hey, bro, this is too much. You can do it, okay? We have this, what we call, uh, I like to watch a Rikomondi, showbiz. Showbiz is not scam. It's not you going and misleading people like literally. This is how it is done. This is me. No, it is wrong. And when you check the comments, you can clearly see how many. We are not talking of hundreds. We are talking of thousands of Kenyans. The comments that are coming through. Bro, me tuokolea bana. Mi ata kidogo ni kunyo sumo na juliza kwane mindo ni melaniwa. Ni kona degree hapa. Na uza njugu. Boya na niambia na ingia forex tu. Forex tu. Kwani forex ni yatu wana kwa rich. I'm like, you can try forex. You try forex. Go think it is very simple the way they are showing you. Bro, utamuaga makamazi, kohosi na kila kitu, and still you will lose your money. Forex is not a come in, be rich, go out, show what you do. How many times have you been neglected as Obina on media? Until you think it's done. I'm done with this nonsense. But then you go back and then somebody tells you, I like the last video. How, may, how long have you been in the game, bro? So many times you failed. So many times you've picked up yourself. And now you're here. And now somebody sits down, wants to be you, and even lies to people. Whatever Obina owns is mine. It's mine. Yeah, bro. I'm telling you I'm the baddest in the industry. Shows you some cheap, cheap clothes, well ironed. Yeah? Cheap shoes, uh, some champagne, pure glass, uh, uh, can Sijui can what Pombe? You know, guys, this is what we do. Bro, relax. Live by the means. Unapata so. What's a kuishi kwa nyumba ya 50 bob? Ishi nyumba ya 2 bob. Kuna food. Kuna other bills. Umepata so mbili. Ishi nyumba ya 10 bob. Kuna bills. Una get? So this idea of this young man coming and pressurizing other young men who aspire or inspire to become for instance, forex traders, is wrong. Bro, any person that can't help you with the psychological stability, akwambia na kufunza forex, huyo ni muizi. That is a thief directly. And it is dangerous, trust me. Kuna sona commit suicide your forex. Imagine, imagine umechukua 45k, ulikuwa wendo ulipa school fees. Bro, <laughs> Jamaa amekuambia ah daro daro ni 20k. Alafu pia ndio kupatia ma signals bro. Una get. So wewe ukikam to daro hivi manze in one week's time utakuwa uko fit alafu ukamo do hivi. So you think that actually that is what is going to happen. You give out your 20,000. Remember it's not your money. It's your parents ama hata mmechangisha kwa kijiji. Unapatia na 20,000 yako bro. Una kadaro, una get nothing. Akwambia you may get nothing. What's your worry? Minda kufanya kitu inaitwa nini? Uh, tutafanya pool trading. Pool trading ni no, ulete hiyo 20, 25,000 imebaki tuweke hapa. Mimi ndeka 50. So utakula percentage kulingana na pesa yenu ulitoa. Hiyo pool trading mtu anafikisha mita mbili anakukula block moja. Ama anakuambia juu jelewa vizuri wacha mimi nikupatie signals. Signals ni 5,000. Wewe tumia 20,000 ku trade alafu nikupatie 5,000. Ah uh, nikupatie signal of 5,000. Una buy signals do inaenda. Unaona juu 45 gizi imeenda. Na siwezi rudi home. Wacha nenda niko pe Obina. Una come kwa Obina. Bro ni aje unajua kuna hii kitu imekam through nini nini kama unaweza niokolea tu saa hii. Nipatie tu how many minutes? 3 minutes. Au ni watu wa derive. Okay? 
the river man binary options, not like the platform itself. Binary options. Eh? Sisi ni maskalpa, bro. What volatility is the coffee? Unenda unekelea 50,000 ya ubina. Three seconds. I'm serious. Three seconds. Uko 0.00. Melewa. You can't face ubina. You can't face your parents. Unanza kukiria ama ni azagete tao. Nenda ni yekalea sport pesa. Ama ni alafu ni kipatayo pesa ni kama ni yekalea tena ni rudisha do yangu. I happen. You call your girlfriend. Girlfriend na kusupport na 10,000. Sure. Gone. And these guys, when they do that, they are out here with vehicles, showing you how life is smooth. Now, we have a car. We have to who do we say? I cannot do it fully. Here in the Ameni Pelekai side, signals look as sad. Easy my classes look as zake. Everything I'm doing is his. This is what he showed me. But he's making it. And I can only jump back screen using the same signals. Check, check, bro. You make three thousand dollars. Three what? $3,000, one single day. Wewe, $95,000 yako ya michango na nini, gone. So this is where now you come in and try to open the eyes. I'm not here to attack anyone, but I'm here to open the eyes of Kenyans. Uh, for example, you just told these guys, there is a very huge team behind these cameras. And what they are seeing is what you decide them to see, not what they think they can see behind the cameras. Because actually the eyes of these cameras are their eyes, what they're seeing right now. So if somebody comes and tells you, this is my vehicle, check the number plate, it is because he wants you to see that. But does that mean the fact that he says it's his, you should have these huge amounts of pressures piling on your chest, or you are not making it. That is where now I'm trying to tell the youth, I will show you and I'll set an example with real living scammers or thieves, you wanna call them uh, influencers of Forex. I'll show you in real time. That is not what it is. Relax. You want to venture into Forex? Take time. Bro, take time. Understand what Forex needs of you. Are you sober? Uko na ugonjwa roho. Unapigwango na kifafa. Wachana na Forex. It's true. Bro, it's true. Unona kama uiko psychologically stable. Don't try with Forex. Unakuwaga na pressure, like he blood, high blood pressure. Don't try. You are diabetic. You are not managing your diabetes. Please. Usijaribu ikitu. And ask traders there. They will tell you what I'm telling you. Forex is the most difficult job in the world. Bro, imagine, wewe as an individual, sawa, there is a broker between you. Example, is zenya nimesea mapa. There is a broker between you. And then there is the big house. You are trading against banks. You are trading against these huge football teams. You as an individual with your 200,000. Okay? Na kuna mtu wa okopale, amerusha bilion moja huko, ata ashuguliki. Wakati zinaribika, ashuguliki. Anangoja tu, azikue mzuri, anafinya stop. Unapata, alikuwa mpata za 20 million, amengeza 250 million. Wewe na 200,000 yako, umepromizi wa hapo kuje class ya 2 weeks. Ati 10 days, you pay 400 dollars. <laughs> 10 days you pay $400 to go and make money. On which Forex? What are you actually learning? Hati kuna paper one na paper two. Kwa Forex? Bro, listen. I'm telling you for free. The reason as to why, I'm not even fighting these guys. I'm just trying to explain to guys. You know, the problem with Kenyans, one thing is, ukiwa show reality, wanafikiri anga umepanga. Unajua hivyo? Ukikamu wa show real, like this is what is happening on ground. Wanafikiri yangu mepanga. Aya, ukiwa expose was a real, like this is Kafuri. This is the one faking. I do not know Kafuri. Until alintumia shilingi moja ni kajua naitua David Manzi. Wanna get? Ni ukweli, see jokes. Alintumia shilingi moja. So, when you expose this, wanasema, now ukona weave. But if I had done the same thing, and maybe say they see us together, most of the time, Obina, Obina na Truth Watchdog. If I expose you, mwalipanga, hiyo ni show tu mnataka kupush, bro, wea wacha ujinga, mnafikia tuwajui. But when I do the real expose, ukona wivu. You are meddling in people's business. The same, same people, brother, if I give you my phone there, ni kuambia, Obina, today I want you to manage the messages that comes and only deal with nani ni meibiwa, oh, huya menigonga, huya lenifanya hivi. Every day we get over 200 messages, messages, messages that scams every single day.
And the people who are coming, people, you can see them. Sometimes you even associate with them when you go on TikTok Live or YouTube. And you're like, if I cover up this one, okay, then what if, what if the same, same person does this to me? Because scammers do not have limit. And they are not ashamed of themselves. In fact, they, when they, 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 they scam you, 200,000, they will show you the kind of alcohol they're drinking. Dude, we personally, I don't have a problem. You're exposing scammers. I even need a video on, on Kula Kula show when you're interviewing scammers of like, good stuff. Let's keep putting it out there so people know which hope not to fall through. Suali mimi niko tu nayo ni hii ya kufuatilia maisha ya watu wengine. For example, ulifuatilia maisha ya tubili, ukasema, God, wana mambia tumia madanganya kwa Amerika. I'm like, why is that your business? Where tumili says, tumili hafanyi forex? Unajuaji? Why is that your business hafanyi forex? Ali kuambia? When I was rolling with him, he was not doing hmm. forex. Okay. So tumili hafanyi forex? Wachana na iyo. Akiwa hapo nge niuliza kama kwa hapa ni kujibu yo suwali. Si amekuja hapa badala mupigane munaza kusalimia na kama mamoriu. Because they have never... Ha of course we've seen mamoriu. Oh, hey, hey, no, siku bonga mbaya. <laughs> siku bonga mbaya. Angekuwa ange na mabif ama na manini. Na maroiko. Bro. Ange, ange nini, ange pick up yo. Una get. But let me tell you bro. Tumbili happens to be my friend. And like you, I always, I always watch the status. Hey, um, see, um, see, um, see. I'm a I'm a Some of the stories I, I get inspiration from you close people that are to me. Now, what you get by the way, this could be something that could inspire me to do this. So when I checked this, I, I was like, ah, nani akona gari atumbili sahi? This guy, I mean, show and in the US. Now, not like telling me, hey, bro, I share US. No, just the status. You know, most of the time, come my issues. You know, post your say, and yaja, we are live on Obina show. What I could check on you, We are live on Obina show. So, guys are like, ah, by the way, come on, you're going to call on a job. You got job. So, when I check this, I said, by the way, I'm selling one and I drive to JKIA. Do you have a passport? Do you have a passport? Do you have a passport? And then, I'm going to Then, I'm going to say, very wrong place. Let me tell you. I know to Billy, very personal. Ni rarely um say a stop kawaskari. Check him sana pita KFC. Nani ya kona gari ya tumili? Kwa na kucheki, tumili ya natoka ndani ya ndai. Akaishi ya naivas. Opposite is naivas, okay? No. Wait. Oh, naishi kawaskari. Sendio? So tumili just happened to come where you are. Happened actually to park. Immediately, okay. Sikai yati apo exactly pale alikuwa na park. Apo ni KFC. Oh, mena kuangalia makuku. Ni mena kuchake zi kirol. Ha, 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 zi kirol wachi. Na unona gari kula. And then I'm like, bro, who is that? Nani anatumia gari ya tumbili? So kuishia, nika chikini tumbili. I didn't want to expose at the, unajua people have said, tumbili anaish fake life. Uki notice, I exposed the number plates. Unaget? So they are taking it out of proportion and trying to make like, Unaingilia maisha tumbili kama nani wewe? Wewe ni nani? Kwani nani anafaa kuingilia maisha tumbili? Who? Nani yako na hiyo mandate kama nani huyo? No one. Una get? But I thought this is my friend first of all. Secondly, this would give me an edge in whatever I'm trying to expose and people think that I'm jealous, I'm envious of other people's progresses because when I showed the fake plates of Kafuri and the fake plates of this young man called uh, Kenya's youngest sponsor who was exposed yesterday for eating school fees. Anatumiwa school fees na watu wa majuu. Kijana wacha wizi, soma, akakula. Akatumiwa tiye ni tredie, akakula. We are not talking of a hundred, bro, bro. We are talking of hundreds of thousands. Wanna get? Nani yo? This guy called Kenya's youngest sponsor. Jinake real ni Omosa. Okay? Yeah, you know him. You must know him. Or if you don't know him, you've seen him. You just didn't bother. You know? So I, I used my friend's plate to show. Keki, hapa hivi. I make a plastic. And this is exactly what you're seeing. Wow, what you are flozi hapa. It's nini? It's the real number plate. If I go right now to your vehicle, my friend, I am sure. Nikionye shatu wa save camera. Nijaribu kusema ni fake. As long as that log, uh, that uh, code, ya NTSA kwa hapo. They have the right to say, wewe, unona obina na jenga, sasa na jaribu. Una get? Because actually it's authentic. It is there. But I just tried to use these number plates to tell Kenyans, angalie ni sasa. On that day, I'm telling people and they think I'm creating stories. This same, same Tumbili, alipata ni kirudisha mwisho ni kamchocha, hey bro, hii kitu likuwa meanguka, na I'm trying to fix. Ah, we wacha, wacha. He bought me 
ka Red Bull sikudanganyi mbele ya Mungu. And you can ask that uh, assistant. Anita assistant ama ni <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Unalewa? Colleague, yes. Well, let us use the word he used. You can ask that colleague. You can ask. And story, Kaisha, but... The question is why? Why are you exposed to me? I'm not exposed to me. I expose the fake plates. Or why are you exposing the fake plates? To prove a point, like what I'm telling you guys, about these two plates here, you are busy, you know, you are almost dying. I need to reach. Usha wana vanya wasona kupati yanga pressure, bro. Especially your parents. I know you've gone because you support your family. I know you. Ati. Unawana nani nafanya nini? Kona hivi. So you are like, there. Nasa, kama na mek. Mimi, si time yangu tafika. Apana, we ni lazy. Oh, as you can come in a show. After we see more, my indi, gunia moza. You're like, for God's sake. Come on, Jama, kona shamba, anauza my indi. Akona hasu. Okay. That is the pressure that these men are getting. See? Kapuri effects are make do because these guys are using this vehicle, are using these plates to encourage people to join their so-called classes. Ali to come to you, bro. Me, I hate that. Obina, I have a beef with you. Where is your kid coming into this? Yeah. Plus my home. You know, you don't do that. Men to ki to kiamu awe to anguo. To anguo. To nyeshane size ya mapumbu. <laughs> Mapumbu ya babako na kujaja in. Unaelewa? It's not right. You argue from the fact. Uh, when I did the first expose, okay. first of all, you know, he called me. Uh, he said that simple things. When dogs start barking, I don't really bother. You know? And then he posts there and pesa messages how he does transactions. The name job again appears where he has paid 19,000, where he is supposed to pay. He has paid 29,000, where he is supposed to pay rent 45,000 to the same name job. So I like this one. Okay, good boy. You've shown this. Born on a lipa, rent me the 19. You know? You go to us you call out my kids. We don't do that. Come on, young Nayako, let us stick to us. It's me coming to all out to his parents, his brothers. No. For sake, these guys, whatever you're dealing with, it's not fun. I noticed a lot of people for some thinking people, nanny forex, what 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 but food you could let you keep me always call again. What could show me the few like in a couple of rest? Bro, let me tell you this, and uh, I tell you all for free. Real traders, <laughs> the media, they are just following these VPNs. They're not trading media, they're not showing you their trades, they're not trading, they're not selling boats, they're not selling signals, they're not having class. Most of traders, let me, I have told this is one of the most trying jobs on planet Earth. What these guys do, what they do is, once you carry out a successful trade, it's like when you are building, you take four hundred thousand. Yeah, look, makes money, bro. Take it, flow it out, take it. Take it, take it, take it, take it, bro. Do you know that? But you have it. The stress of building your own structure, even the process of buying a house, is enough to make you forget your house. The price of buying a vehicle, getting it, making sure that is enough to forget your just vehicle. Am I lying? But why do these guys have time? We bought, we are it. I don't have money. I don't have money. Camera ya home iko happy. Oh, jamaa kona kaki. Do you post your salary? Do you post your transactions? If somebody is posting the MPS transactions, you are the market, not Forex. Not me, bro, the market. In this sense, 20,000. I, I don't want to create enmity, but this is me. Please leave Obina out of this. There is a lady on media called Esther Mofri. She's offering a class 60,000, 10 days, per one, per two. Forex. Aye, that is the biggest joke you can ever hear in Forex. I'm telling you for free. Please stop laughing. Say the truth what I'm saying. I'm telling you, bro, this thing is difficult. It's not easy to make it look plotting because as a trader, you will not, not even have time to enjoy your own. To enjoy this money. Okay. I'm sound for issue. I think it's distorting or something. You very much have to mini do, never reduce. Come only party sharp a qua receiver. Oh. Come only party sharp a qua you never reduce. So it is distorting.
Hunter, are we good now? Yeah. The sound is good? Yeah. To endele? Oh. Okay. Kalvo, monitor the sound. You let us know. Move ile side ingine uskia vizuri. Alafu ratuambia. Aya, now let's come to now the the big part of the conversation. Okay. We have a number of scams that are currently running in the country. Yep. You've been in the forefront talking against them, which I recommend. Thank you. You've opened eyes for a few people in your Lukwana na kunyoroshwa, one, two, three, <laughs> nini, wakatoka, nini. Yeah. Deo besha jaribu kupigwa, kunyongwa, kupoizoniwa. <laughs> so apart from Forex, umesema hii Forex nafanyika Kenya ni fake? Not really fake. Forex is real. Okay. But now what is being portrayed is what is fake. Okay. They are real legit traders. And 95% of these legit traders yeah. who are not on media mm. lose. Okay. Malawa. So only a small portion of traders yeah. all over the world, not just Kenya, all over the world, do make it and make it probably uh, what we call profitable traders. We have gurus, yes, but a few, handful, because always the house wins, if you, can, if okay. you know what I mean. Okay. So unfortunately, the ones you see on, on media, most of them are not traders. They are what we call IBs. IB means introducing broker. So this introducing broker, what they do is, uh, for example, you're a trader and you have, a, you have some kind of, you're not a trader, you just know something to do with trading. Then you have some kind of influence online. Most of these broker firms, they'll find they are, they are, they are actually clients from media because you can't do Forex without the internet. So they are targeting anyone who has a smartphone and they can access internet, right? So. These guys, who we call influencers, in Forex we call them IBs, introducing brokers. So for instance, again I will keep on using Kafuri as the best example of this show. <laughs> Kafuri comes and maybe works for this specific company, okay? I've been promoting so long these brokerage firms. So let me use this specific. If they want, they should also pay. You told me that. So there is a specific firm Kafuri represents. Now he will tell you and the rest of the team here, Hey guys, do you want to do Forex? I can teach you Forex. You can even come, I'll give you VIP or VVIP signals for free. You just come and train with me. Come trade with me. So when you're trading, the signals they're giving you is not of the other platform, which is also offering a place where you can trade. Only his, and you are going to use their link, okay? So this link makes them earn money. Whether you're going to lose as a trader or make money, the Broker is going to pay Kafuri, what we call rebates, okay? So most of the time, they target rebates. They will also sell you signals. They will uh, charge you for the classes. They will sometime, okay, for Kafuri, this one, no. But I know those who lie to you, they will do account management. My friend, in Forex, no individual can ever tell you they are going to manage your account. Are they banks? No. In fact, it's illegal and you can be arrested over that, you know? So... Anyone telling you that they'll come and manage your account, that is a thief. Ask them. There are very huge firms out here which provide uh, funded accounts. Why can't they trade on those funded accounts? They want to manage you as, as an individual. They will steal your money. Second thing, anyone in binary options telling you they will sell you boats, working boats, 100%. <laughs> this is real. This is fake. There is no fake or real boats. Most of the time, you need strategies, and my strategies will not work for you. You know, the way you do your show, I try this. Put my show up. Hello, guys, this is Sabina. <laughs> I fail from the word go, because how you bring your show is not what I am. That is faking me to be Obina, and I will fail. You do that show, very successful one, you get? So somebody telling you, I'll sell you strategies, bro, I have the best boats. This is one of the scams that they'll sell you. And most of the people are running for such boats. They want this many boats, the fastest, the best. Which one is the latest? And then somebody goes and renames a boat. It was called Obina. Now it's called Show Obina. Ah, oh, Show Obina is the best. Take this one. You buy. You lose again and again. So somebody telling you they'll sell you boats without the skills, without the knowledge about Forex, you're going to lose it. And anytime somebody tells you, I see many of them saying, I'm a Forex trader. Bro, relax. Stop lying to people. There is nothing like, I'm a forex trader. What are you trading? Are you in cryptocurrency? Are you in, 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 in uh, 
Are you in volatilities? What are you trading? Stop just saying that I'm a forex trader. I am doing, somebody will tell you, I'm doing Binance, I'm doing uh, crypto, and I'm doing a swell forex. Three things that are go, a lie. Run as fast as you can. Don't stay around. Because for sure you will lose. And many losers think that they are forex traders while they have just been scammed. Are you getting? Mekupata. Yeah, that Mekupata. is the problem you are trying to address. Kuna sema next ni lete kafuri hapa na faith. Lete kafuri to trade live kwa channel yangu. He can't. I, I dare him. Skiza, anytime you bring a forex trader here, let me give you three things. And traders there, they know what I'm asking for. They will not dare. Ask them, we want investor's password. Just tell them, ah, there is something truth watchdog say here. Investor something. Do you have it? Can we? Can we? None of them, all of them online here will agree to produce what we call investor's password. Because with that, you can really tell the history of the deposits and withdrawals. If you ask them the deposit, some of them will do this. Somebody will go. And this is an example of uh, this guy called Nebs. Uh, like M-Pesa, you recharge your M-Pesa, for example, an example, 500,000. Okay? And then you start withdrawing 40,000. And then you take a screenshot. I just received 40,000 from. Then you, 30,000 again, 10,000, 20,000. So, hey, this is very successful. This guy is withdrawing money. He's withdrawing the initial deposits. But ask for, depo uh, for investor's password. Many of them, you know now, this is my secret. Which secret? Investor's password is not secret. They will not lie. They should not lie to you. It is public. I want to learn Forex from you. Let me know your history. Your history will encourage me to want, even if it is to pay. I go deeper in my pockets knowing that this one is fire. I will pick one, two, three, four skills here. Okay. So Forex is a scam. No. E, e hour. Ya online. Ya online ni hour. Yes. To memaliza yo. Nini nyingine? Scam nyingine? Mm. Account management is a scam. On that Forex line. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Boats is another scam. Uh -huh. Boats don't work. Uh -huh. Then the life of Forex traders on media. Fully scam. It's a scam. It's a scam. It's Awezi a lie. nyumba. Uneza nua nyumba na real forex. Uneza. Like, okay. by the way, you can wake up tomorrow and find that actually you have 70 million. Okay? But not investing one shilling or a hundred bob to make 70 million. No. You can wake up tomorrow, buy vehicles as many as you can in forex, but not what they are showing you. This is not what forex is all about. Real forex traders don't want even you to share their... They are images. For the ones who don't know, uh, let me try and simplify it to the most simplest way possible. Okay? Mm -hmm. Miale is being sold. I buy shares in Miale for 1 million shillings. Exactly. So I own a piece of Miale for 1 million shillings. It's put in the market. Tomorrow someone comes, they revamp Miale, waungeze ibai kwe, nini nafanya, nini vitu zina rotate, whatever. So the value for Miale goes, goes up. up. And then I say now, I want to sell my shares for a million shillings. But by that time, my shares for a million shillings are worth 10 million shillings. Exactly. So when I sell, I get 9 million shillings as profit from the 1 million shillings I had put. Now, that is how trading works in a very simple way. But kesho ni kinunua miale na 1 million. Kesho value wata reduce. Sabe nye mvoe menyesha hivi metuaribia nini labda ya ribu roof, nini, nini, nini. So miale sayo rudichini. Unapata my 1 million shilling value, it would to like 500,000. I will suffer a loss for 500,000. Exactly. Simple and That's clear. That. There are people who do it manually, but they are trained. Niaje, if you know when you nafanya, this is how you look at the market, nini, what's selling now, nini. Some countries, let me now complicate it. Some countries, some companies are in some countries, war happens, the value drops, people buy, then peace comes, value goes up, people sell. People double their money. People buy from billions to trillions to whatever. Inflation. But it comes in different when there's inflation, da, 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 da. Okay? So that's the way it happens. Hiu, truth watcher dog amesema karada nayo. Oh, let a bot ni kufanyi hivi na hivi na hivi na hivi karada nayo. I decided not to get to know much about it because I know a different type of forex and um, I don't think I'm getting into that any time now. So, okay. I know yours is assets. Yes. You do assets. Yes. But now there is this, the crypto, there is the currency exchange. I also do crypto. Now there's another coin. Mm -hmm. It's a new coin. It's called SEN. 
if you know, it's called SCN, it's listed. It's a new coin, uh, just like Bitcoin, but let me not get into details now. You go do your research, check about SCN exactly. coin, and uh, we'll say, <laughs> So, scamming forex to me funga to funga your forex to monga show to tunica furi kafuri kafuri ah ah to get you a kitu ingine. Coin you have a Another thing, I mean, I don't like when you touch on my family, anyway. <laughs> There is another, this is serious, bro. Okay. Please, if your people are abroad, yes. tell them right now yes. to pay close attention. Okay. In America or Canada or Australia, these countries usually try to centralize how their money is moving about. Okay. In their banks. So if, for example, we are at Miale States. Okay. Your banking branch is where you do your transactions. And money is traveling from your local branch to other areas will not be easily accepted. Okay? Yes. Because there is that what the government does about the money trail. So, there is this Kaujanja. And unfortunately, I don't want to mention names, but many of the so-called celebrities, this is what they are doing. Okay? With the current Facebook accounts, you can't do that. Because the moment you try to change, you are in Australia. Your account might be banned. The people who signed recently after the improvements. But the old Facebooks, you can actually literally change the country without you having to move using the power of VPNs. So what these guys are doing, you are celebrities, I'm very serious, okay? And many of them start to flaunt this to show you how they are living large. While Nyashiski and I complain, huko, Nyashiski kulipa nishida lazima upate endorsement. You wonder hii mutu wanaimba wimbo moja, nakoja kukupigia show mwaka mzima. This is what they are doing. They get you, Obina, living in United States of America. You have your credit card there. They will tell you, for example, Nihaje, unajua send with? Yes. Ama, fungu account ya Venom, for instance. So Obina, innocent, opens a Venom account that will be attached to your credit account. Okay? Are we clear to there? Now, they'll tell you, me, I am doing some kind of businesses or services that I'm offering to the Americans. They want to pay me through Venom. I don't have a Venom account. Venom or Venmo. Venmo, whatever it is. Venmo account, okay? Okay. So the Venmo account, as I said, Venom, Venmo account, <laughs> they, they, now you know you, you are in US. Yes. You have your credit account. You have attached it to Venmo. What you do, okay? What you do is now you receive the money on my behalf, okay? Remember you are a Kenya, so you have the M-Pesa connection between me and you. And now your money, you can get it from your credit card to your M-Pesa or to your bank right now in Kenya. Are you getting it? So you become a mule. We call it money mule. So we una to pesa na mtu. Tuseme there is a glass that I have advertised in Kenya. It is in USA. And I'm selling this glass at around, uh, say, $40. And then you want this glass for $40 because the price looks so much friendly. I tell you, no, don't, don't even worry. You paid $20 and you will pay the remaining amount as we deliver the glass. So as you pay this money, it goes to now Oga Obina in US, in their Venmo account, okay? Now with the Venmo account, you are able to withdraw that money to your account and send it to me. And then I say, ah, since you are a good man, you've given me the 20, don't, don't even send 20. You take, uh, send me the 18, take the $2. It sounds a good business, right? But remember, the person who has bought the glass has not received the product, okay? So this person will reclaim the money. I need my money because this guy said they were going to sell me this, I bought it, they never delivered it. And they go even to an extent of selling vehicles. Our when you wanna check you on a flows na magari bigi bigi, they're untouchables. They're not untouchable, my friend. I'm telling you soon something is coming up, a wave is coming, and you will not believe the, the, the faces that will be paraded, yeah? But the DCI, I'm serious on this. You will not believe that, the, no, there is no way. But they are doing these businesses, including vehicles. Imagine, bro, ile bensi yako. Ulipe, hata si nini, ulipe tuka depo, peke yake, sawa? Alafu, nongwe, inakuletea hewa. Sasa you, Obina, who has been receiving this money. Okay. Bro. The government, the U.S., will come for you. Unfortunately, they are targeting students, okay? Uh, the students who maybe have gotten the scholarships 
or parents have raised funds, you go study in UK so that, you know, you will make some decent money, come and change our home, blah, blah, blah. They're targeting the students. We have students who have been deported as a result. And remember, when you're deported, it will be very difficult for you to find your way back maybe to this, uh, some of these countries, you know. So you, the owner who has been receiving, if there is money in your account, first of all, the, the, the person who paid, the bank might start claiming on their behalf. So you'll find maybe in your credit account, if you had $800 and uh, the glass was $20, so you find minus that $20, $20. because it has been refunded. But if they see that you've been doing this shoddy job, what they do is actually to discredit your credit account and close your account. There is nowhere, my friend, you will go without your visa. Once your visa is revoked, you are done. But these guys are busy again flaunting the same, same thing they are doing. We are living large. We are living good. While their students, their Kenyans who have been de deported, their lives destroyed because of a few individuals, who think it is okay what they are doing? And then when you talk about it, we are you getting? So this is huge. It is not something that uh, Truth Watchdog fights alone. That's why, you know, I'm telling you the DCIs are involved in this. I had to call Mr. Kinyua. Tell him, hey, bro, this one I cannot handle. Can you look into this? <laughs> you know? Well, come here, relax. We are controlling. Uh, this one. So be very careful. Don't open accounts for other people. Yes, exactly. If you're in the States and you know people in the States, tell them not to open the accounts uh, for other people because it'll be used to con other people. Yes. People are using your account, passing money. They don't sell the product. The money is withdrawn from your account. If you have your money, if you have your own money, it'll be used to pay back. If you don't have your money, your credit score will go down and your account can be blocked and you can also be locked up as an accomplice. And deported. They were also deported. Right now. And visa revoked. I have someone who has paid 1.7 million Kenyan shillings to advocates trying to remain in the U.S. right now as you speak. You know, he's in my inbox. Bro, please actualize. Taki. I don't want my name. Ali Oshua. Moja clean. Wali tumia nini yake. Mbaya sana. Tenduwevi yake. Yes. Na hindi alikuwa natumika. So, yendi o responsible. Another scam. I hope wameshika yo. Okay. Another scam. Right now, especially on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. Mostly mm. TikTok. Please, if you love furniture, or you want to resell furniture, on TikTok, pay this close attention. <laughs> <laughs> you can see someone clearly post uh, a seat like this, uh, the one I'm sitting on. Yeah. Huh? From nowhere, 5,000. You have walked, you know for sure, the least you can buy this is 25 or 30,000. And you still insist, ni miangukia. Wana kwambia fanya vi bro. Ata usitume deposit, tuma 1,500 ya delivery, ndiyo tuweke mafuta. Tulete. I'm telling you all those furnitures on TikTok. I'm discrediting everything. All of them, they are a scam. In fact, there is someone who is posting, I told you I'm in Kaoskari, in my own estate, that there is a, there is, there is a, a furniture place there. Bro, you are at the balcony, you can see here, Akuna Kitu. But the guy is busy telling people on TikTok. And he has 93K followers buying. And then the, 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 also the prices should tell you something. There is a, something you just see, the quality, the appearance of it, the beauty of that object tells you this cannot be that 5,000. Something worth 220,000, it is being sold at 35,000. What on was your fridge double door, bro? 30,000. Double door. Msena sema, unimeona online, nimeangukia double door. Go. Ana tuma pesa, ha! Na inachukuliwa, ha! Nakula block moja Double door ina baki nile mlango. Na maisha. What on a buy screen? 75 exactly. inch, 30 thou, 20 thou. I'm like, wait, ni me You know, bro, and if I say this, people think I'm joking. He's in his leopard apotes in his Likwagakwa streets before the media. Uh, do you remember that? Pale, pale pana ituaje. Pana itua Jack and G, Luko Chini. Thank you. OTC. What to a gas? I know them. Zindi, how am I come online? Unapita tu muduru wa hapo. Wame come online, sai. Wame improve. Yeah, now they are not doing it kwa kijiji hapo kwa sababu. People realize you can be beaten. You even go to a page, you find out they've changed their names more than three times. And still, someone wants to buy from them. And when you want them, unafuatilia maisha nini? Ya watu. Ukona wivu. Wakibiwa, they wanna realize, aikuwa wivu, you are trying to sensitize people. That is so unfortunate with Kenyans, you know? So, that is another scam. Uh, 
The other scam you need to be afraid of is the huge companies. I'm talking of Miale. I'm talking of uh, uh, Brookside. People are on Facebook posting, we have jobs in Miale. Clean jobs. In fact, they'll come here and pose here and take a photo. Uh, we are in Miale, guys. Actually, we are doing, uh, we are having these jobs for chefs. We are having these jobs for cleaners. If you are really interested, actually just come in the inbox and we can talk. We organize your interview. Ukingia kwa inbox interview, anakutolea papers reels za miale. Okay? Everything looks miale. We unambu wapo jaza tu vitu wapo 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 alafu unambu, hey, there is one paper you do not have. But we can organize this as you come. Fanyi vipanda gari come, tuma 2000, tukutolea hii paper. By the time you are arriving, hii paper iku hapa, you enter into the you know, interview room, maliza. Oh! Unashuka gavi matatu minus 2000. Block moja clean. <laughs> so they are using huge companies. Brookside, this is uh, And they look clean. Please, there is no company that is looking for people on media and they advise you to pay certain amounts certain because you are money. missing this paper. Who told you that? Nobody they, really wants to give you money like that for free. At this opportunity, we just want you to get it. Which boss? Which boss? But unfortunately, uh, many of us Kenyans are so, I, I don't know whether it is desperacy or it's just... Desperation and also ignorance. Yes. What has happened to this camera? Okay. So, I'm like, uh, really, what is, what is happening? Why don't you just take Atacama in 10 minutes? It won't kill you. Due diligence. You know? Even ask me, hey, truth watchdog, kuna job hapa, bro. Hii naona ni kani mechukua walai. And then I ask, what are, what are the requirements? Ni mambo ni tumetuka 15. Bro, ati kwa nini? Kuna connections. <laughs> Nani anakonektia? How can you have connections to someone you do not know? Obina, I'm looking for a job hapa. Nitana nitafte hunter. Mwambi chiki, bani, munga na boss. Munga na boss, bro. Because I know for sure, Hunter knows me. And Hunter and knows you, you. And you also know where to find Hunter. You know? I know where he is, his home, his family. I will go. To onge story, what do you want Someone I know in your Roshua. I'll insist. Someone very close. The biggest on Billy, the organization said, organize the papers, Nimi Patekas, Nikambia. No. Hakuna when you tapata Kazu, Napea, no, say, Mwambia Kishak organize everything. Mbaka kupati hivi ticket, I will gladly pay the money. Haku sikia, aliena nyuma chini ya maji ali. Hata usiendo kwa mbali kwa kazi ya USA. Anza na ami yama police recruitment, bro. <laughs> Usha, hawa watu wanakujaga, ukiangalia the images, they show you. Bro, I'm in the forces, ndo hizi pictures, kama unataka, ndo hizi videos. Yes. Ndo hizi kombati yangu. Mini mejuana na general. Yes. Nimi kuwa hapa. This is the OCS, kama ni police officer. This is the, yeah? Uh, the general. Come on, Kwajish. Mina Kwambia, who ni major? Bro, mm. who captain? Ata to Nakaga Nairu Moja. Do it. Well, let us sort out. What are you going here? Ata was Tokezo easy. And who called you Tokezo easy? You are not so easy. I'm not so easy. Umala, who's the duty? I'm not so easy. Stoke, bro. So these guys assure you if it is job, you will get. You will get it a hundred percent. Just pay this man. That is. Big wash wash. And that's why there was some kind of uh, changes in the army in Kenya and also in police because there were guys posing as police officers. And sometimes they were colluding with the police officers to carry out these tricks. Because somebody can like talk, work jana kama hakuna, kama utaki kazi, mambo ya kusumbua, sumbua watu wacha. Maso limingi ni anini? So someone, a Kenyan, a young man, listens to that, auntie, hey, wamesema hivyo, our mom, hey, we're able to live in person to rakaraka. So you send that money and somebody disappears. That is where we come with the agencies why I was about to be killed, and now the same, same video is being used to ridicule me. It is these agencies. They were so much. They are taking images of, uh, of passports. You can take my passports. I have these passports, blah, blah, blah. If you want to go to Canada, you want to go to US, uh, I'm helping you to go to Qatar, any country, don't worry. Clean. And you send your 150,000. Just say 10 people. Oga, Obina. 10 people. Send 150,000. Umefunga siku ujafunga. Good money, bro. Kuna ploti kamulu. Just like that. And this person disappears. So, what I'm doing siku fuatilia maisha watu. By the time Kenyans are learning my importance, 
probably obino utakoma nipatia kazi wewe kuja tu kuwa nashona viatu hapa nitakuwa nakulipa 100000 wachana mambo ya media oh truth the watch dog ulienda wapi you are so much important you know you helped us but the moment you are talking about them they don't even want to share your show they are complaining about the sound yeah. <laughs> you know yeah, that's it is the real true. true bro the reality is people are busy complaining and seeing the negativity focusing on that laws but the real message that we are trying to pass they say wewe uko na wivu umeleta yoga sia kwa nini wewe msia kwa na nini jealousy This is not jealousy bro. Wait until utakutana na shosho wako ama mama yako. Amepigwa character development pale pale OTC. That is when you really realize. But then it was important for me to share this video. It was important for me to listen even if I thought it wasn't much that that much important. That's why I'm I'm finding now comment section. Watu wananichekesha. Eh bro nilikuwa nimekutusi manze pole. No, keep your words. Mimi ni fala, niko na wivu. I'm jealous. Keep it maintain maintain it katu hivyo hivyo tutakutana tu kwa kama umegongwa na mimi nikwambie mm. kama there is a there is a there is a guy was trap, uh, i was exposing i got the victim was a the victim by the way um say me nibia 200000 nini 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 so i was like ah hii sasa ni punchline tumemaliza hii case i don't know what they talked with the person who apparently had scammed them yeah so i'm like a uh, example obina alikuwa amechukua 200 gizi yako Inakuzo nini? Kama ubina amechukua 200,000 yangu inakuzo nini? <laughs> Hebu ushukulika na maisha yako mambo ya kuingia. Eh. Wow. Ule, but wewe ndio ulikuja na story. Yeah. Tena umenigeuka. And now you know it is like life this way. Imagine how embarrassing that thing is. Kaif. Can somebody just switch this thing off? Kata internet anything. I was so much ashamed and I stopped. I said I will not this specific guy kama amekuibia wewe ndio umempea bro na kama unataka to revisit this case 200000 ni nyuli yenye unasema ulibiwa uweke hapa 200000 then i will do that story because it was so much a shaming it degraded my credibility that that i am lying that i should stop i am bothering someone's life the same same lady right now she's in my inbox imagine mtu anakutumia video vitu za yellow hapa two lines ni kama kwa class 2 you have to help me this was all my investment how am i helping you am i a police officer what am i supposed to do come and stand on top of this table eh? obina stolen 200000 please return ama nyakuanika will it come back go to police officers that is the process report when lete obindi hata mimi nikimulika mtu question these yeah. people that you expose you're not afraid they might decide to harm you harm in which way What is the worst can happen to a human being? They can exist. Death, right? So which one do you fear? Fearing to die or death itself? People are complicating lives, bro. You are here because without you here, your kids might face it. Let us be true. You are afraid. You don't work, your kids will die. True. Hunger. True. Uh, neighbors will turn against them. Relatives. Family. Yes. So you are here because of that you fear to you should fear to leave obina is here sijuni sangapi because he fears to leave you live this way you are suffering but after that if obina sleeps you stop worrying about your kids worrying who is watching you who is not because at the end of the day you are dead in your sleep you wake up again you wake up to your worries so if the worst they can do to me is kill me one life na hizi mamilioni wase nimejenga in terms of We educate to say I don't receive anything. We educate to say kwa lot kuambia this and this is happening. Be careful. Bro, any time, any day, come and end me. See if you will end the knowledge that is now out there. I know I'm inspiring guys and maybe better ones, serious ones. They are doing their investigation uh, journalism. They are doing maybe their private investigation uh, investigation classes. Trust me they will come here. They will not be doing with a kafon. They will now have this how many cameras am I seeing here a number of cameras when they bring up a story brother is no come back for you you know so i am not really afraid they have poisoned me they have threatened me they have arrested me before until now i'm a friend with the police officers miuki nishiko sinipeleke nairobi sinipeleke mombasa sinipeleke kakamega sinipeleke kisumu nipeleke huko madongo promoka palijulikani 
Kerokoni, hidden places. But if you take me to any police post, police station, trust me, by the time unafika home, tunafika what? <laughs> Aki nani. This one I can dare anyone. Uh, kulikuwa na haka jamaka lini threaten kanaitwa states. At you, I will get your lawyers. Do you know Dan Stan Omar? Not me approaching him. Hey, sir, mi nafanyanga hivi. The guy humbles himself. Dan Stan Omar, I'm saying it on media, says, Kijana, kama kuko na shida, anything to do with the law, I like what you're doing, I will offer my services for free. Wakati states aliniambia tinda kuitia lawyer, ilimuambia, bro, nafunga kiatu. Nikirudi hivi, ukuo umewaleta. Una get? These people were coming to help me fight these vices. I am not paying a dime, nothing. It is just that they have realized. We are destroying our country, blaming it on one person. Ruto, Ruto, where was you in the cost of living? While in real sense, we are the ones supporting the vices that are affecting our country. And anytime somebody talks against them, you are jealous. You are envious of people. Bro, niki kuibia hapa, niki kuarbia show. Nasema, Poverty is the enemy. Ndiyo show yangu yendele. You know? How am I fighting poverty? Am I creating poverty or am I'm fighting poverty? Creating it. So these guys that are online stealing money from people with lies and fake promises and hopes, creating hopes, and please, anytime, big up me in the next show by saying this. Maskini anambiwa tafte mungu, tajiri anatafta pesa. Okay. Big up me. Ukuwa uku nasematuyo kitu. Please, itakuwa na nibamba. I will be watching your show and say. Asante kuja kwa show. Masikini atafte mungu. Tajiri atafte pesa. Tajiri na pesa zake, masikini na wenzake. Exactly. Haya ando kama yo. Continue doing what you're doing. You're like jichopevu kwa ground. Yeah, I appreciate it. Yes, we're not a jichopevu kwa ground. We're not a little live life. We're still watching him. Nipange, nipange, nipange. Three months, we're still watching him. Nayo, nayo. Continue doing the good job. And for other people, there's so much that we talk about. There's so many scams that are happening in the country, from job employment to yeah. every other thing that's being shown out there. So be very careful. And if you want to learn more about them as well, go to Truth Watchdogs uh, social media. On a social handle. Uh, on YouTube, I have two channels, Truth yeah. Watchdog Official and Watchdog KE. Okay. Yeah, that is my uh, handles. Then on TikTok, it's Truth Watchdog uh, Official again. Okay. On Instagram, Truth Watchdog. Twitter. It's nowadays it's called X Twitter. X. 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 X again, Truth Watchdog. Yeah. Okay. Facebook, leave it. There is a scammer there I'm dealing with until I bring that channel down. That's when I will tell you. <laughs> For now, to na some buana. Yeah. All right. So next up, we are having Vini Flavor. Yes, the only celebrity in Kenya with blue hair. We're having him <laughs> the next Fanta, five minutes. So we now before we go kuje, it will be ten agipili because I sound the kosawa. Life is sawa ni mona kila kitu sawa so tusonge nayo teke teke before tena ngori nyine kuje yeah. ni kipindi mimi wanapindi kama kuna mtu ametufunikia mahali kuna mtu tu tu watch dog akia nani atakani <laughs> bro i'm telling you you see the cameras we have here the team we have like everything is normally nice tunaenda tu live hivi sound kwao na choma ubani hapa you need kuna tu mtu ametukazia choma ubani tufungulie tu tunatafuta tu atifungua kidogo tu hatuna ubaya hatuna ubaya tunanyenyekea tunanyenyekea kiongozi mkubwa umeleta mvua tutaanza hivi na vini flavor utaona tu bali itakuwa ni network mheshimiwa tunakuomba tumepiga luku tumefanya nini kuna mtu umetusungia tafadhali mheshimiwa tuko chini yako bosi tunakuomba tunakuomba kunyenyekevu mwingi mno sisi wote tufungulie tu kidogo sio mimi unanikazia ti wacha na review ubina kuna watu hapa nimeandika kazi watu wengi sana wote wanangoja hii unga kidogo sasa kimwaga jamani mpaka tuwekod na simu jamaa unaona venye leo tunaleta filamu imeenda shule angalia venye na kaka hiyo kamera so the lady said look like a future husband tumefanya truth watch dog na kani kama mtu ameoga <laughs> We're coming the next time we need to be the flavor. Let's hope for the best. Inshallah. Inshallah. Inshallah.